What are your thoughts on cellular automata in the game of life? Have you ever played with those kind of little uh, games? I think uh, the game of life uh, it is it is wonderful and, uh, uh, and 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 shows all kind of stuff about how things can evolve without the creator understanding anything more than the, the power of learning in, in a way. But to me, the most important thing about the game of life is the is is how it focused for me what it, what it meant to have free will or not <laughs> because <laughs> okay. the game okay. of life is obviously totally deterministic yes and I, I i find it hard to believe that anybody who's ever had children cannot believe in free will right. on the other hand this makes it crystal clear uh john conway said uh, uh he wondered whether it was immoral to shut the computer off after he got into a particularly interesting play of the game of yeah. life. Um, wow. Yeah, so there is, to me, the reason I love the game of life it is exactly as you said, a clear illustration that from simple initial conditions with simple rules, you know exactly how the system is operating, it's deterministic, and yet if you let yourself, uh, if if you allow yourself to lose that knowledge a little bit enough to see the bigger organisms that emerge, and then all of a sudden they seem conscious. They they seem uh, not conscious, but living. If if the universe is finite, it, we're all living in the game of life. Just slowed down. I mean, it sped up a lot. But do you think technically? some of the ideas that you used for analysis of algorithms can be used to analyze the game of life. Can we make sense of it or is it too weird? Yeah, of yeah. I mean, I, I, I've got I've got a dozen exercises in volume for fascicle six uh, that actually work rather well for that purpose. <laughs> but, but, B B Bill Gospers came up with the, with, with the algorithm that, that allows you know, that allowed Golly to, uh, to you know, to run thousands and thousands of times faster. To catch, you know, the website called Golly, and G O L L Y. Just it simulates the cellular automata, a game of life. Yeah, you got you got to check it out. Yeah, can I ask you about John Conway? Yes, I, in fact, uh, I, I'm just reading now the the issue of mathematical intelligence or that came in last last week it's a, a whole issue devoted to to uh, uh, you know mem remembrance of 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 him <clears throat> did you know him i i sl slept overnight in his house several times i <laughs> yeah um, he recently passed away well, yeah he died he died a, a year ago uh, may i think it was of covid what are you? What are some memories of him of his work that stand out for you? Is did uh, on a technical level did any of his work inspire you? On a personal level, did did he himself inspire you in some way? You know, absolutely to all of those things. But let's see. When did I first meet him? I guess I first met him at Oxford in nineteen sixty seven when I was. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, you were minus twenty years old or something. Yeah. I don't know, nineteen sixty-seven. <laughs> but but uh, there was a conference where, minus twenty years, uh, and I think I spoken. I, I was speaking about something that known as the Knuth Bendix algorithm now. But he but he mm -hmm. he gave a famous talk about knots, and and at the and I didn't know at the time, but. But anyway, that talk had now it was the source of thousands and thousands of papers since mm -hmm. since then, uh, and it, and it was he was reported on something that he had done in high school, uh, you know, almost ten years earlier, mm -hmm. uh, before this conference, but he never published it, and and he climaxed his talk by 
building some nice uh, you, you have these li these little plastic things that you that you can stick together mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 something like lego but easier mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and so you made a whole bunch of knots in front of the audience and so on and then disassembled it, it, it well, so it, it was a dramatic lecture uh, before he had learned how to give even more dramatic lectures <laughs> later uh, so